This video will show you how to create a simple pantograph or edge-to-edge -edge design on your quilt using Quilters Creative Touch version 4 in the standard mode. The first thing you see when you open the Quilters Creative Touch software is this screen and you'll simply click pantograph. Then you need to enter the total width and height of your quilt. Most times it's easiest to load your quilt so that the longest side is horizontal. So and the, for this demonstration we're going to assume that the quilt is 40 inches by 30 inches. And as long as your design that you are using on this quilt is not directional, you can do this and you will save yourself some time because you will not have to roll the quilt as much. Notice that the row height changed to 30. It is based on the total height of the quilt. Most machines cannot stitch that many on a quilt. So for instance, my quilt has an 18 inch throat, but it can only quilt about 13 inches. So I need my row height to be less than 13 inches. And the way to do that is to add more rows. So you come down here and hit plus, and you can see the row height changing. 10 is a good number for me. So I'm going to make sure that all of my three rows, these represent the three rows that will stitch on your quilt, that they are all highlighted, and then select pattern. I'm just going to select this first pattern that's here by double clicking it. Now you'll notice that it's quite skewed and does not look proportional. So I'm going to come down here to patterns and just keep adding patterns until I feel like the design looks good. That looks good to me. So at this point everything looks fine. I'm going to come over to quilt as rows and select quilt as rows by clicking that with the mouse or touching the screen. So now you'll see your design and how it is going to stitch out the first row of your on your quilt. And what you need to do is move your machine so that the needle and the foot are at the left utmost corner of your quilt where you want the quilting to start. And once you have your needle there, you're going to press this button here with it's the top left corner that places design in the top left corner of your quilt. And you notice when I selected it that it moved just a little bit. And once you get it where you you want it, you may have to move it around a few times. Then you come down here and select pull bobbin. Your machine is going to take a stitch at the very beginning of that stitching row and you'll need to grab hold of that thread that is coming out of the eye of the needle and pull the bobbin thread up to the top and pull away about four or five inches out of the way of your sewing. The reason you do this is so that you don't have a knot on the back of your quilt. Then you select sew and your needle is going to move back to the start position and begin to stitch and that's what all of the blue lines are. This is the machine stitching out the design on the first row of my quilt top and as it gets to the end you'll receive a message that says sewing complete finished row. At this point you just click this large button here finished row the machine the software is determining where your next Quilt where your next row should begin and at this point um, I usually move my machine over to about the middle of my quilt somewhere around around the middle and then select move to top center and when you do this your machine is going to move to the very center of where that design needs to stitch for the next row so you're really um, at the bottom of your of your sewing area where you just sewed and your needle should be right in this position. At this point you want to mark that position either with a stick pen or a friction marker, some chalk. I usually use a piece of painter's tape and I have about a one inch piece of painter's tape that I drew a dot on with a sharpie marker and I will put that right under the needle here 
and just stick it to the top of my quilt. Then at this point you want to take the side clamps off and roll your quilt so that this mark that you marked on your quilt top is up toward the top of your bar but still within an area where your machine can stitch. And once you've got that loaded, <clears throat> or rolled up, excuse me, um, then you can select continue with placement. And now with your, with your fabric and your quilt top rolled up, you'll see a, your painter's tape will be somewhere in this area. So move your needle to where the painter's tape or your mark is and then press the here, press the center button here when your needle is right over that mark and the software will move the design to where it should be. At this point you'll want to move your machine all the way over to the left and align your fabric so that it is straight down this side and on the left side and straight down the right side and baste those sides down straight so that this will stitch out um, straight. So at this point you'll move your machine back over to the left, click pull bobbin, just as we did before, hold your, your thread coming from the needle and pull the bobbin thread up with that needle thread, the top thread, and then click sew. Your machine will move back and then it will begin to sew out your second design, your second row, excuse me. And this row will fit perfectly and nest up against the first row that was already sewn. And we're coming to the end again and you will receive the same thing, same message. Sewing complete, finished row. You click finished row and you're going to tie, of course, on the right, uh, your machine, move your machine all the way to the right and pull your bobbin thread up and cut your bobbin thread and then move the machine back toward the middle of the quilt and select move to top center and the machine will move right to the center. You want to make your mark on your quilt top exactly where that needle is and then select continue with placement and then roll your quilt up so that your mark is almost to the top of the bar but still within the sewing area and select the center button here. My design is outside of the safe area so that's a good thing to see if you let me get it back to where it was. Um, you see the pink behind here that means that my design is going to stitch off of my quilt and you can tell that over here on the left hand side you can see that it's trying to stitch off a little bit so at times you may have to move your machine just a hair to the right or left or up or down whatever you need to do to make sure that your your design is going to stitch within the safe area And once your screen is all white then you know it's going to stitch within the safe area Okay, and then you want to select pull bobbin again. Pull the bobbin up, then click sew, and it's going to stitch out your last row. And as we get to the end, we will get a similar message from before, finished row. And now this screen, it will automatically come up. I usually just hit OK to to cancel out of it but I'll tell you very quickly what it's for if you are going to load another quilt back to back that's what this would be used for so just click OK and at this point your quilt is done and you can exit back to the home screen and take your quilt off the machine